Hey, what up, Bear Nation? It's your boy Ray John coming at you with another video. Um, Raiders lose. Lose by that much. <laughs> uh, initially, halfway through the game, I realized something, and I knew we were going to lose because the way our defense was playing. Um, and then our offense kind of had a little snowball effect of just misfortune. Uh, you know... Fumble here, um, off the, you know, battered off the mitts when the guy's about to catch it there. And then, you know, pick six. Uh, it it kind of all went to crap, man. Um, I want to say um, this defense is is just bad. It's bad, guys. I, I, I think... We do really well in some games, but we're very consistent in doing bad on certain areas that we really need to improve on, period. We do not have enough talent. Uh, we don't We don't have enough talent on defense. And it's, it's funny because we went out of our way to bring talent to Las Vegas to actually you know put forth a good defense on the field, and we have not done that. Our defense is playing like trash. It is. We cannot stop the run to save our life. We cannot stop the pass to save our life. We cannot freaking get off the field. When's the last time we had a turnover? I mean, come on, guys. We don't um, – I don't fully blame the players. I, I think that we do lack a little bit of talent. We lack, we lack uh, talent and we lack effort and we lack um, conviction. And that reflects on coaching. John Gruden needs to step the hell up and fire Paul Gunther. Period. Paul Gunther is not a horrible coach, guys. I'm not. I'm not saying he's a horrible coach. I'm saying he's not the coach for us. Period. This, this isn't working. It's not working. All right. He did really well on as a defensive coordinator in Cincinnati. He's shown that he could be a good defensive coordinator. So I have nothing against Paul Gunther as a as a person. Um, even as a coach, he's pretty decent as a coach i don't want decent i want great i don't want a you know middle of the pack defense i want a elite defense and this is not it this is a joke of a defense right now the way we are getting manhandled on the field we should not have to ha uh, rely on Jonathan Abrams coming up from the secondary to stop a run. We should not have to rely on a blitz to get pressure. We should not have to rely on players staying healthy. We should have enough depth and enough freaking talent on the field. We, we are so bad at defense that there's players that literally came from other teams and are playing for us that did really well with other teams. And they they just can't show up for the Raiders. And this has been an ongoing situation when it comes to the Raiders, when it comes to defense. It's one of the most infuriating things as a fan to watch. Um, yes, our offense may have uh, had a couple miscues, but they were put in certain situations that our defense basically allowed. Uh, we should not be down by that much. We play a whole new different game plan if we were up. We should not be... Freaking, we should not be, um, you know, allowing them to convert on third down every other freaking snap. We should not be giving up that much runs in yards and touchdowns. Okay, the, 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 this was bad. We should not be giving up that much. And we are, we are as a, a as a team as a unit. We are just not there. And it sucks. It really sucks as a fan because I thought for a moment, I thought we had the team. I thought for a moment we had the team to actually make a playoff push. We just had to win this game. And it would have been, okay, we're over the hump. Now all we got to do is just keep hacking away at it. Yeah, it would have taken game by game. But this game right here. It, it cost us a playoff spot, in my opinion, guys, because if even if we went out, we got to rely on other things happening. Even if we went out now, we got we literally have to rely on other teams losing in order to make the playoffs. And honestly, even if we make the playoffs, I do not think we have a defense that is worth 
a damn in the playoffs. I do not think we have a team that could compete in the playoffs if this is what is going out on film. All right, this this is bad, man. This this defense got ran over. All right. Oh, uh, yo. Um, offensively, Derek Carr. He didn't do horrible, guys. He actually did his job in this game. Yeah, he had two turnovers, but one was off of a freaking uh, drop ball that got batted up in the air and you know picked off. And that, yeah, yo, it happens, you know. But the other one was just one hell of a play, guys. Y'all got to give it to that defender. He one-handed catch out of the air. I mean, Waller was that at all when he seen that. He was like, oh, wow. You know, so that that is what it is. The defender just made one hell of a play on that one. Um, not that many players are going to make that kind of a play. Usually, won't, if it's a jump ball, Waller will get up there and get it. Not that time. Derek Carr played decent today, guys. All right. He played – actually, he played great at times. It's just uh, one of those things that – it's a snowball effect, guys. Uh, one part of our team does bad. It eventually affects the other part, you know, and it – that's, in my opinion, what happened today. Um, he was uh, 31 of 45, 316 yards and two touchdowns. Uh, one to Foster Monroe and one to Aguilar. Aguilar did really good today. Uh, five receptions, 100 yards and a touchdown. Uh, way to put it down for this team, man. Yo, uh, freaking uh, freaking Carr also had a rushing touchdown, but... Uh, yeah, that came in kind of garbage time, so whatever. But, uh, you know, good to see him run for a touchdown. But, again, put both hands on the ball when you extend, please. Uh, please. I mean, it wouldn't have mattered if you would have turned the ball over there because we're already going to lose anyways. But at the same time, just get that in your system that you got to keep both hands on the freaking ball when you were passing down goal line <sighs> moving on um defensively nothing to say nothing good to say uh whatsoever when it comes to defense i mean d d just bad just bad mass crosby uh kept getting held like crazy i mean like every other snap he was being held the one freaking defensive player we had on the field that was actually make you know making plays um, was Moro, and he ended up going out with an injury. Um, he was showing up today, man. He was actually making a, a few uh, different stops here and there. Uh, but um, Jonathan Abrams went out with an injury too, but he got burnt hard on a pass play, uh, and he honestly just didn't seem like himself you know when it came to the passion or anything like i just didn't see as much of it today and he slipped up on a freaking penalty man he got to you know he needs to check himself on some things you know uh rein it in a little uh but uh i know he plays with that chip on his shoulder and a passion so uh just bring in this next one we'll see what happens man uh ho hopefully he's you know back uh, back out there at 100 percent See what happens. I mean, it's a quick turnaround. We got a game on Thursday, so we'll see what's up. The uh, Raiders just basically shot themselves in the foot by losing this game. But uh, honestly, I would I wouldn't be surprised if we uh, uh, if we do win and get a winning season. This you know went out and we get a winning season. But I would not be surprised if we miss the playoffs and it all comes back to this game. Um, this game right here was very important, guys. So if we lose out and lose all the, you know, lose the rest of the games this season, uh, that wouldn't surprise me either. It, it's literally there, guys. Yeah, I We could literally win out or lose out, and it, neither would surprise me because the way this team plays is so inconsistent, and it frustrates me, but it is what it is, guys. I mean... I'm going to be here every Sunday, Monday, Thursday, whatever time the freaking Raiders are playing, uh, you know. So um, I'll be here. Uh, I'll be doing a video, and we'll see what happens. All right, that's going to do it. Raiders lose 44-27. Uh, to 27. It is what it is. Uh, moving on. All right, like, comment, subscribe.
See you Thursday night. Go Raiders.